Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are rejoining our Venus lander mission as it is about to make its mid-course correction, which is a staggering 2.2 kilometers per second. We are about nine minutes out from our burn time, which uh, probably needs to be exact, but it's not giving me an estimate on how long the burn time is going to be, which uh, is a problem because it needs to be exact. <clears throat> uh, and, well, oh man, our thrust to weight ratio of, is 0 0.02. That cannot be right. Is our engine on? Shut down. That's going to take 30 seconds to get there. I was planning on starting the burn about, uh, sorry, five minutes out. Activate engine. Let's see if this gives us an estimate. In anticipation of it being about a 10 minute burn but I don't know if that's right yeah it's still not giving us an estimate and all right well we're gonna time warp to about the what okay why are we throttling back our time warp that's interesting okay yeah oh right. now all right and when I know that this is all edged very good. Oh, it lit right away. I was expecting the delay. <laughs> okay, well, uh, our estimated burn time is six minutes, but we uh, only have four ignitions on this AJ-10. I am not going to waste one by getting that uh, estimation. So we're just going to run with it and see what happens. That's the fun part here. Hopefully, after this burn, we will be on a intercept course with Venus. Um, hopefully, we won't have to adjust our peri V. Our peri apsis at Venus. How about that? But uh, we will not have enough delta V to insert orbitally with the engine. We'll be down to about 400 meters per second on our uh, orbiter stage. Uh, we do have probably about 400 or so meters per second total on the lander stage, but that was meant to deorbit the craft itself because uh, it's obviously it's going to enter face first. So we're going to need those RCS jets to turn it around after the heat shield is done doing its job and get it uh, landing leg side down. And then uh, there's an engine on there to help slow its descent because I'm absolutely certain the parachutes are going to snap. 100% certain on that. So, um, if we do not get an orbit from aero capture, uh, the orbiter section of this mission will certainly fail. If we get the lander on the ground, we can call it a partial success. But I, even I am hesitant. There's a dog party going on behind me, if you're wondering what all that noise is. All right, we're gonna... Yeah, wow. They're crazy. All right, we're gonna speed through this. I'll pick you guys up in a second. <laughs> Thank you, Kerbal Alarm Clock, for that astounding update. Alright, we're uh, going to try to polish this off on the back of these RCS thrusters. Not the greatest idea, because they are not very efficient compared to our AJ-10. And also not doing us a whole hell of a lot of good. I blame you, Heat Shield. My god. It's so slow. And we're still not even quite at the node. So I think we're going to take a look at our course. That's a collision course. All right. It won't take us very much to adjust. Well, let's see. Okay. I can just... I'm just holding the H key to fire the RCS. Oop, 148. That's... 
more than good enough. We're going to kill our RCS system so we don't screw that up too much. And that's that. We're done with our maneuver here. Okay, good. Battery is still sitting at a net zero. We have a, another uh, course correction to make. So I'm going to go jump over to there. I'll pick you guys okay. up in a second. Hey, everybody. All right. This is our Venus return project. And I don't know what happened. I've, I'm going to have to go back and look at the video. But I'm very, very certain that uh, we had a nice course set with an intercept for Venus and everything was going great. And I switched to the vessel today and this is our telemetry. Nowhere near Venus. I... I don't know if maybe we had a fly by the moon that w didn't show up, but like... I was able to plot for... V not Mars. I was able to plot for Venus and make everything very much okay. And even get a good intercept course, and I don't know where this telemetry is coming from. Something very weird has happened. I don't quite understand it. But, uh... It doesn't look like an intercept with Venus is going to happen at all. So, I, um... I'm kind of angry. <laughs> like... This is a, a capstone mission. It's supposed to, you know, kind of set the baseline for what we need to do a crewed flyby mission of Venus, and now it's just not going to happen. Not, uh, not at all. Not ever. With this particular flyby. So I'm going to reassess the target for Mars. We're nowhere near a Mars window at all. And nowhere near an ascending or descending node, but I can plot out a few nodes uh, in hopes that maybe eventually we'll get the intercept with Mars. Perhaps and maybe. But it's, uh, it's not looking too good, really. I mean, this thing has unlimited time. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah. We can, in fact, get an intercept with Mars in about 705 days. So let's, uh, let's focus in here. Maybe we can do a Mars return project. That's not too bad, really. Oh, other way, I forgot we're behind it. So we do want to kind of keep it uh, a little equatorial if we can, which is the opposite of that way. I'm, well, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I'm not so sure we're going to have the fuel to do the braking at Mars that we would need to do, but, oh, look at this. We might be able to do flybys of Phobos and Deimos. Their planes are almost aligned, but, look at, I mean, look at that approach. We wouldn't have to do much of an adjustment at all. By the way. Oh, dude. Yeah, let's let's bring that on home. If we can, because I think uh, arrow capture at Mars is really hard. I don't know if we're going to have enough Delta V left to capture at Mars and return. So this, uh, this project might get repurposed. Whoa, not cool, dude. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> you were just on an intercept course, but now you're not going to hit the planet at all. Crikey. Alright, we're going to leave it right there. For right now, we're going to have to replot, certainly. Uh, and our first node is three days from now. We can go ahead and take care of that. That's not a big deal at all. Turn our RCS on. It's going to be about 37 seconds until that signal gets there. All right. Let's get ourselves angled in. And we do have about a kilometer per second here at the upper stage. And I guess really uh, arrow breaking at Mars, at least, is a possibility, since the likelihood of this thing being able to come back to Earth is slim to none. 
but we'll uh, we'll get what science we can, obviously. All right, so three days until our node, we're gonna go ahead and warp on ahead to that. Yeah, that's our old node. Delete and close, thank you. All right, I know we're still 12 minutes out from the node, but I wanna know what our delta V time, 24 seconds. So really, even before I start the burn, I need to send the order to stage off those tanks so that we're not dragging them around. That's very interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, delay is, we'll just say 40 seconds and 24 seconds of burn. It's about a 15 second window, right? Yeah give or take. So 15 seconds before we actually start the burn, we need to give the order to stage. I'm going to go ahead and bring up flight computer. Try to toss you off to the side as much as I can. All right. Burns in 12 minutes. We're going to start about five minutes out because this is a very heavy spacecraft. Oh, I'm so bad at time warping. All right, oh, come on. Dang it, missed it. All right, Ullage. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand. I can just wait until that says 24, can't I? All right, light them up. Oh, I was burning RCS from those tanks also. Which probably isn't such a bad idea. Just to make sure they're good and empty. All right, and boom. Nice. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> Although now we're running on our last bits of fuel. Now we can do a collect solar particles experiment and now should we collect the biologics? No, I think we're gonna wait on those. I didn't put any other sciencey things on this, did I? Make all the normal ones, I guess. No, I don't think I did. Good for me. <laughs> Violet, perfectly good science. You get in the way. Alright, and as with most of our burns, we're probably just going to speed through this one. Doop, doop, doop. Yeah, we'll keep that experiment. I can't believe we only get 16 science for that. That's just silly. Oh man. <laughs> I am still a minute out from the node. That burn took way less time than it should have. That's not fair. Ah. What's our delta V look like? 2135. And about a kilometer per second in the upper stage here also. That heat shield is not decouplable. Great. Well, that's very nice to know. All right. Got a meter per second or so to shed here. Although still way before the node. And kill it. And our next node is 667 meters per second. And that should put us on an intercept. Good. 
we didn't screw up our nodes so bad to where that one screwed up. And that node is in 226 days. It's not a bad. Not bad. That just doesn't seem right, though. This orbit's 365 days. Oh, we're on that orbit. That still shouldn't be less time. Wow, this makes no damn sense. Yeah, 226 days. All right, well, let's get out Kerbal Alarm Clock and set our alarm. There you go. All right, well, uh, I know this was super disappointing and also super brief. Many apologies, my friends. Uh, but that's going to have to do it for us today. Um, we've got some cool things coming down the pipe, though, I promise. And our Venus mission gets to be repurposed into a Mars mission. I mean... It's not going to fulfill any of its goals, but that, you know, whatever. <laughs> We're going to get something out of it, that's for sure. I just, uh, I don't think I had any Mars contracts queued up when I launched it, so nothing it does is actually going to count. But we may still get our Venus lander, and hopefully we'll get our mapping, provided we get our uh, trajectory correct for an aero capture. That's kind of what it all rides on. So, uh, all right. Well, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. And uh, I guess I will see all of you next time. Till then, see you later.